Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 1st, 2020 at 7.30 a.m. in the Council Chambers at Sandpoint, Idaho City Hall. And this is the regular monthly meeting of Sandpoint Urban Renewal Agency Board of Commissioners. Roll call. I am Eric Paul, Chairman. For the record, Commissioners Meryl Savella, Kenneth Perry, Tom McCoy are present. Commissioner Savella is participating remotely. Board members Jacob Humble and Andy Marcaccio are absent. Um, item three on the agenda is the meeting minutes for approval. Item number three eight meeting minutes of August 11, 2020. Action item. Move to approve. Second. First and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Very none. Motion passes. Item number three B meeting minutes from August 25, 2020 meeting. Move to approve. Second. First and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any discussion? What, excuse me, opposed? Any discussion? Motion passes. So motion was Tom. Um, item four on the agenda is the financial report. Please note the balances are as of August 27, 2020. And you can see the account balance is reflective on the report down at town $867,150. Revenue allocation fund is one hundred thirty-eight thousand eight ninety-four seventy-nine. Again, that is used to make our payment for our two thousand eleven series note. Northern two million six ninety-five three eighty-nine. Our loan balance for downtown is two hundred forty-four thousand five ninety, and and we also have one point three two nine million for our series eighteen note. Next payments are due September fifteenth on each. We'll note that the downtown loan will pay off in March of 2021. Increment received August 2020. We received 181730 in the northern, $200,060 in the downtown. Eric, that closes a lot of the gap that we showed in the budget, right? It does. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the good news is we approved the budget being conservative, and then these numbers came in right. at the higher end. Right. The northern is still lagging a little bit, and the downtown seems to be tracking better. And I think a lot of that is we'll have to get through the weeds is the homeowner exemptions that were not approved and recollected in the past. So we had property taxpayers claiming homeowners when in fact they weren't eligible for it. So the county just went back and recouped some. So we have a lift this year from that. Mm -hmm. uh, do the commissioners have any questions or comments regarding this month's financial report? Clerk, is there anyone from the public who would like to comment? Um, we have one member of the public participating by Zoom, Mr. Chair, and um, he is not raising his hand, so I would assume no. Okay. Other announcements or reports from the board or city staff? Sure. None. We'll move on to item six, old business. Update 6A is on the downtown streets. Amanda. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I do not have any new or additional information to add. Perfect. Thank you. I have one question. Um, I was well. I, I think the the streets look great and everything. Yes. I did notice, kind of over by um, the Conan Coffee, where we have all the white uh, the white sidewalk stretching everywhere. The stains on it are pretty pretty dramatic. Does the city have a plan for like pressure washing those? Is that something that the onus is on the, the business owner? But so by stains, are you referring to like the black marks or a different kind of stain? Black marks, spills, like I'm sure they're not that permanent, but um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like bike skid marks on the white sidewalk. There's a lot of just drips, I'm sure, from like ice creams and things like that that are on there. Just just kind of curious. Yeah, um, it's a really good question. And I would say typically it's the responsibility of the adjacent business owner to maintain the sidewalk in front of their property. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some areas such as in front of the Panada where we have the lettering that was installed. Um, the city may step in and, and try to assist in that area because it's a little bit um, more unique than the rest of the, the standard sidewalk. But mm -hmm. as far as the rest of it goes, it would be on the property owner. And there's, no, there's nothing to compel the property owner to keep it clean? Understood. Or I, I was asking if there's anything. Is, I, I'm voluntary? not in a position okay. to answer that. I, I don't know if they're motivated or not. Okay. And, and we don't have an incentive to motivate them, if that's your question. Sure. Yeah, it was. Any other questions on 
6A downtown streets. Hearing none, uh, move on to item 6B presentation update for the downtown street engineering. Basically, that's just a recap of the remaining balance of the engineering contract. Okay, and we'll take that up in the discussion under item 7A for business. Item 6C presentation update for the Northern River Renewal District. Amanda, any updates on the Northern? Uh, we're progressing with the preliminary design. Uh, JV Engineers is assisting with that effort, and so far all is tracking well. We anticipate um, in January we'll have some preliminary information to present and go from there. What about the stormwater pre-work? Is that, is that what JV is doing? So the stormwater is wrapped in with the overall preliminary engineering of the project. If you'll recall, um, resolving drainage requires resolving the overall roadway section in that area as well. So it's we're doing preliminary design on the entire road section from Baldy Mountain to Mountain View, um, or to Woodland, I'm sorry, not to Mountain View, to Woodland, and that will incorporate the stormwater components associated with it. So it's all part of the preliminary design. And yes, that's what JV Engineers is working on. And part of Great Northern lies outside of the urban rural boundaries. That's okay. my understanding. So I need to double check that. Fair enough. I think we talked about this in the past that it's it's an overall project, right? right? We're not drawing lines where the funding um, is in play. What we're drawing, what we're eventually going to have to draw lines on is once we have preliminary engineering costs and we're looking at how do we want to phase this project, how are we going to move forward with the overall costs, then I think we have to get into the weeds of what portion of it's funded by SIR and what portion is funded by the city. Right. That will be, we'll have that discussion probably in seven when we go through the invoicing. Or let's, we can have it now, but like on, on the airport, part of the airport when we funded it and all the design processes that we paid for, was outside of the urban renewal district. We, 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 there was a calculation of the allocation of that cost that was excluded from our whole funding. So keep that in mind. Okay. So any Great Northern outside our footprint, we won't fund any portion of. Understood. We're just not in a position to, at this point, I guess, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I was trying to clarify. We don't know what the overall costs of the project are yet right. or how we're going to phase it. So once we have that information, then I think we can have a conversation about which portions are not funded by SURA. But if the study, if the, so, you know, let's say we have three miles on Great Northern. If the study is taking a look at all of Great Northern, wouldn't we have to prorate it yes. based on the, the number of, you know, living in our final there? billings? Yes, we would have to take yes. a look at what's applicable to SIR and what is not. Yes. For the preliminary engineering, yes. Correct. All right, thank you. Mr. Chair? Yes. Our one attendee on Zoom uh, has raised his hand in case he would like to speak on this matter. On the Northern? Yes. Okay. Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham. Jeremy. Maybe we could ask Mr. Graham to type the, the comments into the chat. Yeah. And read it out. Uh, Jeremy, if you can chat me. I'm sorry, we're having some technical difficulty getting your audio through. If you want to move forward, um, Mr. Mayor or <laughs> Mr. Chair, um, then I can uh, I can see what uh, what it is that Jeremy wanted to talk about um, as soon as I hear from him. Okay, uh, we'll suspend item six C until we establish contact with the Zoom participants. 
with the August Arts Commission meeting canceled, Sandpoint Arts Commission Chair Ellie Sinis provided notification that there's no update for on public art or the Silver Logic project this month, but you'll have an update for next, us for next meeting. I did notice all, all three of the uh, pedestals are up. Yep, which is nice, right? Yeah, they, I think they look really good. Item 6D is the art downtown funds. This is just a notification that with the increment we received in August, the downtown funds are now at $114,044. The Northern are standing at $61,212 as of August 27th. No presentation on silver box item 6E. There's a remaining balance of 8,159.78 on that project. New business, 7A, committee formation, invoice re review. The last item, I did, last item on the agenda this morning is the formation of a committee of three commissioners for the purpose of reviewing invoices from the city of Sandpoint for downtown revitalization project and making payment approval recommendation to the board. I would like to serve on this committee, make it two volunteers, but also like to serve volunteers. I'll, I'll volunteer. Likewise. So Tom Bacoey and the Perry have volunteered. I will entertain a motion to form this committee consisting of commissioners Paul, Bacoey, and Perry. So I so move. Second. Oh. I'll second. Look. Looked like Marilyn was mouthing the words. Oh. Uh, is there any discussion? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. An invoice review committee is formed that will contact the committee members to coordinate a date and time to meet prior to next month's board meeting. Back to item 6C presentation update. Were you able to establish communication yet? Uh, not yet. I'm not hearing Marilyn either. So and I know she's unmuted, so I apologize, but I'm gonna say that this is the fault of the technical staff here this morning, which would be me, and I'm just having some audio difficulty, but let me go ahead and see if I can get some information from Mr. Grimm. If you could talk amongst yourselves for a moment. So I'll send you the packets that I received from uh, the city treasurer and get that, and then we can meet, review the requests our budgets for that. There's quite a bit of work. Was the total project amount about two seven for reimbursement? All in? Um, well, this is looking back at invoices already paid. Two six. Two point six is the total request for the downtown streets remaining budget, correct? Not kind of what was already paid. Okay. Um, I can't speak to what you've already paid. Yeah, Sorry, so I don't we'll have that reconciliation in front of me. Yeah, so that will complete the whole project. <laughs> so it might be a little under. It is under, Mr. Chairman. Which is perfect. Yeah, so we have a complete packet from Sarah that details everything. Hello? So how long do we wait on technical difficulties? Um, we'll Testing. wait just a moment just to give Testing. him a chance to check his, uh, Jeremy, if you can hear me, I chatted you, asked if you could please chat your question to us. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? No. Yes. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to talk. You can see it. Yeah. You can hear me? And so I believe Marilyn was a little bit ago as well. Oh. And we're not so. Marilyn can hear me. Hi, Marilyn. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Marilyn. So they can hear you and us. Yeah. So you can't hear them. Okay. Correct. That's when it would appear. Let's see. I'm going to call. And Jeremy's talking, but we're not hearing him. So, um, yeah, and he has left. So, um, Mr. Chair, I will contact him personally and apologize for that uh, audio difficulty and see if there is a question perhaps he could submit yes. that I could send to you. Maybe you could answer for him. Sure. Okay. okay. Can I send that question out to the? I uh, know, unfortunately, we, we can't have a meeting on email. So. Right. So I have to take it and answer it um, or postpone it to the next meeting. You could, and, that, and if it's something that needs to be postponed to the next meeting, um, you, you, could, you could do that if it's something that needs to be addressed by the entire group. Um, it's not a public hearing. It would have been just general public comment. So usually that's not the case. But, okay. um, but 
and we'll we'll take it from there. All right. All right. With that said, um, thank you, everyone. The meeting is now adjourned. Yeah. Right. I just want to say, are, are we scheduled it for the uh, first Tuesday in October again? Yes. Okay. We're back on normal okay. schedules. Yeah, the next meeting will be the first Tuesday of October. Thank you, Tom. Uh, the meeting is now adjourned at 746.